11 years after Google co-founder Larry Page bankrolled one of the first efforts to develop an electric flying car, rivals appear to be accelerating past his company Kitty Hawk in the race to elevate your daily commute into the sky. Fellow Northern California startup Joby Aviation and Germany's Volocopter believe they'll win safety approval for their electric air taxis in 2023, allowing them to launch limited rooftop-to-rooftop -rooftop passenger service within initial cities, and Vermont's Beta Technologies is making rapid progress as well, striking deals to begin delivering a cargo version of its aircraft to UPS and a passenger version to Blade Urban Air Mobility in 2024. But there may be no first-mover advantage in the uncharted skies of urban air mobility and CEO Sebastian Thrun has an ambitious plan to leapfrog the pack that he revealed to Forbes that hinges on convincing safety regulators to allow it to fly passengers without a pilot on board, something that most other air taxi developers hope to do eventually but which they think is a tall order in the near term. Page and Thrun, a former Stanford roboticist who founded Google's self-driving car program, have committed to a strategy in which Kitty Hawk will build a larger version of Heaviside, the prototype electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft it's been working on since 2017, that will seat two passengers, up from one at present, and that will operate autonomously for the most part while being overseen by a pilot on the ground who will handle multiple aircraft at a time. The remote pilot will communicate with air traffic controllers and deal with situations that Heaviside's artificial intelligence brains can't. Thrun, a bald, smooth-talking German who's a prominent evangelist for how Silicon Valley tech can improve the world, says Kitty Hawk expects to win safety approval for its new air taxi within three years from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration. It's a riskier path than going for a piloted aircraft but we believe the payout is 100x of what any piloted aircraft could be in terms of its business opportunity, he says. Thrun will do this without Damon van der Lind, the engineer who conceived of and built the initial versions of Heaviside, a small, elegant airplane capable of taking off and landing like a helicopter that the company says has achieved efficiency and range in unmanned test flights that may be better than any other EVTOL yet. Van der Linde was sacked in May after months of tussling with Thrun and Page over the path forward, Thrun confirmed. Sources say Van der Linde thought their strategy too risky. His departure also follows accusations that he was unreceptive to the ideas of his employees and hostile to some who disagreed with him, contributing to a toxic work culture. Van der Linde declined to comment to Forbes. Letting Damon go was one of the toughest decisions I've made in the last 10 years, Thrun says. He's a world-class engineer.